Yo, what's going on YouTube? Just Jake here and welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video. And in today's video, we're going to be customizing and reviewing the brand new, currently unreleased, Lampadati Michelli GT. And as you can see, we are in first person to start this video and having a little look about it, I'm not very impressed with the interior on this vehicle because, uh, you know, <laughs> the textures aren't great. Even on the Speedo, they seem a bit blurred. You see the emblem in the middle of the steering wheel looks blurred. The wooden trim on the dash looks quite good. And also we've got them two air vents on the top of the dash which look quite good as well. But then you move to the door card. Textures are awful. So if you like playing GTA in first person, this isn't going to be the prettiest car to drive around in. Um, really, really poor um, job from Rockstar on the, on the interior of this car. And also the parcel shelf and the rear of the car, as always, are just poor textured. The roof's okay. The roof's pretty good. But anyway, we're going to come out of first person now. We'll take a look on the outside of this vehicle. And it looks pretty good. It's very similar to the retinue that we've already got in the game. Um, but you know, something different. And it, yeah, it looks nice. You know, nothing which is stand out wow about it. So hopefully we can do some crazy customizations to it. Um, but yeah, you know, it is what it is. It's, it's, a, it's a nice looking classic car. So without any further ado guys, let's get into the LS Customs and see what sort of customizations we can do to this bitch. So you go my bros, as you pull into LS Customs, you'll see the Lamba Dati Michelli GT is in the Sports Classics category. And as always, we're going to start the build with 100% body armor. Then we're going to go to the brakes, we're going to go to the race brakes, then we're going to go to the bumper. We're going to start with the front bumper. So we do get a good amount of options for the front bumper. We start with the front bumper delete, then we've got the bumper with the tow hooks. Uh, oh, it's one tow hook, sorry. Uh, just there on the left hand side. <laughs> Looks like you're giving your car an earring. It's, it's weird. Not not the best looking uh, tow hook I've seen. Anyway, we're going to move on. We now have the deleted bumper with the splitter. Uh, that's not my sort of thing either. Yeah, that's just making it look worse. <laughs> so yeah, that, that's not my cup of tea. Uh, if you want to go for a rally look, you can. You've got the rally lights and then the rally lights with deleted bumper. That actually looks quite cool. And we can go over full cage. Holy shit. That's pretty cool. That's similar to the... Uh, what, what car am I thinking of from Fast and the Furious? I think Letty drives it. Can't think what car it is. I think it's a Charger. I want to say Charger. But anyway, yeah, that's a similar sort of exterior cage that the that Letty's car has in Fast and the Furious. I believe it's Fast Five. No, it's not. Fast Six. <laughs> that's one of them anyway. There's so many, and they all they 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 all sort of mould into my brain as one film. So uh, it's hard to pinpoint which one is from off the top of my head. But I'm pretty sure it's Letty's Charger from Fast Four. I think. <laughs> anyway, it's one of them. Uh, but it looks very similar to that exterior ch um, exterior cage, which looks pretty cool, man. Uh, it's a little bit different. I think we're going to go with that. Why the hell not? Because it is so different. And we're going to go to the rear bumper. Only two additional options for the rear bumper. So we can delete it. And we can delete it with uh, an earring again. <laughs> yeah. Not sure about that. But because the front bumper is deleted, I know we've got that cage around it as well. Uh, we are just going to go with the rear bumper delete. Next, we're going to move on to the chassis. We've got two options. We've got the roll cage and we've got the roll cage with bucket seats. So, we are going to go with the roll cage with bucket seats. Why the hell not? Then we're going to go to the engine. We're going to get the level 4 engine upgrade for the exhaust. We get a good amount of exhaust for this car. And I've just noticed we have a 6 star exhaust. What the fuck? Why is it called that? Really not sure why it's called that. If anybody doesn't know, Six Star is GTA Wise Guys crew, and uh, yeah, it's a Six Star crew. I did install a couple of his, couple of his car mods into my game, and maybe they've taken over the names of some things in the files. Possibly that's the only thing I can think of. So these are definitely not the correct names for these two exhausts. So ignore that. We can see them though. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see him. So a little glitch there. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what happened there, but I'm pretty sure it's because I've installed a couple of his cars into the game. Um, obviously, it has taken over the stock name or the GTA Rockstar name of these exhausts. So uh, nevertheless, we're going to crack on. Just ignore them names because that's not the names of them. And then I don't think they're uh, you know they're special ones either. They are going to be the same exhaust as what everybody will get, just named differently. But anyway. Carrying on, we have the stock exhaust, which actually looked pretty good for a stock exhaust. I am quite surprised with that. The 
back box is a little big though. And then we move on to the dual, which is also very nice looking. You've got the straight pipe, which is more like the more like a stock exhaust I'd put with this vehicle because it is very long and slim and doesn't look very appealing. The same sort of thing, but lifting off to the right hand side. Then we move on to the more of the sporty stuff, which looks pretty cool. I like the look of that. Then we've got the big bore and the side exit. Just oh, just on the one side. There it is. That's not actually too bad looking. It's quite nice. But we are going to go with this big bore exhaust. Then we're going to move to the fenders. We've got the basic arches, the carbon, and the wide arch kit. Ooh, that wide arch kit looks good, man. But they also look good too. Oh, fuck it, man. Let's go with a wide arch kit. That looks awesome. Then we're going to go with the grill. We've got the mesh. Then we could, ooh, the mesh with the tape lights. I like that. Black tape, and uh, blue tape, and uh, yellow tape. Sweet. I think I'm in favour of. What am I in favour of? I think we're going to go with the red tape. That looks pretty cool, man. We'll go go with that. Then we're going to go to the hood. So only one option for the hood, and it is a carbon hood. Not a fan, so uh, we're just going to stay stock for the hood. Then we're going to go to the lights, headlights, and purchase the Xeon headlights. Then we're going to go to the liveries. Loads of options for the liveries. We have 11 in all. So we start with the three color stripe. That looks quite nice. That looks actually pretty cool. Nice and simplistic. Yeah, I like that. That looks cool, man. Then we've got. Hmm. Oh, I see. So we've got the same. I was getting confused because of the white hood, but ignore the white hood. That is just a secondary color, I'm assuming. So we've got the Works Racer, uh, where it just whites out the front of it like that. We've got a white stripe, and we've also got these emblems on the side. That looks quite nice as well. The Heritage, Heritage Racer. I like the look of that. We've got a big 67 on the hood as well, and on the boot as well. It looks cool. Then the Vintage E Cola. Uh, not crazy about that one. Uh, Helmets racing that looks that that's all right. That's not too bad. It's not the worst one we've seen so far. That one's not great. Don't like that one. Uh, again, I don't really like that one either. Nor that one. And that one's not too bad. And the lamp, but that is very similar to the two tone actually. So that's that. Um, not overly keen on any of them to be honest. I mean, some of them are quite nice. Uh, probably this one was my favourite. Uh, I'm gonna say yeah, yeah. I think that one was my favourite, but uh, do I really want it? I don't think so. I think I'm gonna just stay numb for the livery. Might come back and change it if I change my mind, obviously. But for now, I'm just gonna stay stock and with none with the livery. Then we're gonna go to the mud guards. We have black, red, and white. Cool. <laughs> but we are gonna go black because uh, any other colour for a mud flap is a bit strange. Then we've got the respray primary colour. We're gonna go metallic for this bad boy because we're gonna. We're only going to have it in one color, I think. Oh, shall we? Because if we change that, set, if we go secondary color quickly, change that classic, it is also going to change not just the hood, but the roll cage interior and exterior. So <sighs> I think I might go classic for these colors then because I don't want each, you know, the two different colors to bleed into each other. So I'm going to go classic for the primary color black actually looks quite good that's not too bad but then what color am I gonna do the cage unless I have it all black you know put a murder the shit out of it let's try it classic black for the primary also for the secondary color we are gonna go classic black you know but then it spoils the whole point of having that exterior cage because you can barely see it and now I don't think it looks all that great with the with that cage it looks better, definitely looks better with a separate colour, but it's just a shame that that separate colour is attached to the hood as well. That's really irritating. Uh, but, oh, but one thing we could do actually, one thing we could do, if we go chrome, make that chrome, which looks awesome, or if we go metals and have it like a brushed black steel, looks nice, or even a gold looks mm, okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, I like the. The brush steel looks good. That looks awesome. But then the chrome looks good too. We're going to go uh, brush black steel. That looks probably the best. But then I remember we can go to the hood. Even though I'm not crazy about carbon, we can change that to a carbon hood. And then obviously 
the chrome isn't going to matter to uh, to the secondary color then so then we're going to go to primary color once again we're not going to keep this black because now we have a carbon hood we are going to go we'll go metallic because I don't think that will bleed into the chrome on the secondary color and maybe keeping it red might be a way to go because it actually looked quite nice in red with that carbon hood it doesn't look too bad and with that oh that is bleeding into the chrome motherfucker you see we've now got that pinkish roll cage now and it looks a bit shit so uh, we're also going to go to classic now and now uh, the secondary, secondary colour should stay chrome and then we should be able to change the primary colour without worrying about that which we now can so like I was saying a th is that a formula red looks good maybe like a blue for this might look pretty sweet but I was scrolling through I saw this yellow I'm actually uh, digging the yellow man really am I think that looks sweet on this car so we're gonna go classic yellow for the primary color secondary color we've already discussed we have chrome for the secondary color then we're gonna go to the roof we have a sun strip okay not great and then we've got lights then the luggage rack and a spare tire okay <laughs> Um, I think out of all of them the spare tire is probably the quirkiest and probably looks the best them lights not a fan they look a bit strange and that sun strip is just uh, yeah yeah not a fan of that either so do we want any of them I don't know I think that I think the uh, the actual spare tire looks quite good but then it doesn't roll with the exterior cage we've got going on at the moment so maybe if we purchase that and that roof rack is kind of like a matte black if I'm not mistaken so if we go secondary color and go to matte matte black is that too actually no that, that's that actually match it up quite nicely that actually does match it up quite nicely so we could go with that we're going to go with matte black for the secondary color as well as um, yellow for the primary color and then that matches that roof rack with the spare tire a lot nicer than what the chrome did so then we're going to go to the spoiler we've got the lip spoiler then the drag wing and the ducktail so they've made up these all these special names for them but they're literally the same spoiler just a little bit higher each time <laughs> um, I think the lip spoiler was my favorite and you do get an added traction bonus as well so if you're looking at racing with his vehicle it is suggested to buy a spoiler because then obviously you get that added traction so I'm just going to go with the lip spoiler for this one suspension we're going to get a competition suspension why the fuck not transmission race transmission and then we're going to get the turbo tuner and for the wheels I'm actually really digging the stock wheels on this don't think I want to change them to be honest really don't what else have I got ooh they look sexy they look really nice not sure where these come from I think this is from another vehicle that I've downloaded and installed into the game and it's taken over the Dodman rims. Um, but I'm not sure where these car where these um, wheels are from. Maybe it'll come to me later on. But they do look pretty sweet, man. They actually look better than the stock rims as well if I'm not if if I'm fair, you know. They look fucking awesome. So we're going to go with them ones. Um, not sure where they come from. They're definitely not Dodman. But they look sweet, so we're going to grab them. Why the hell not? Then we're going to go to the tyres whilst we're here, purchase the bulletproof tyres. And to finish off the build, as always, we're going to the windows and purchase the light smoke window tint. So, there you go, my bros. We have now built the Lambadati Michelli GT. And, um, you know, customization is okay, it's not great. Uh, the actual overlook, overlook of the car isn't that great. You know, I'm not massively impressed with it, to be honest. Customizations aren't great. Um, from the get-go accelerations poor yeah that's really slow it feels really slow as well and it doesn't look nice really oh god the brakes are shit it, yep traction it just wants to spin out so um, first impressions of this vehicle driving is it's not good really not good it's sluggish it's slow um, Handling isn't great, as you can see. I, I won't get even going fast around that corner. I want to spin out like there. What the fuck? I'm not even going fast and spinning out. So traction on this bitch is awful. It's like I said, it's slow. There's no speed to it at all. It just seems really unbalanced. Um, customization is okay, I suppose, but it's not a very good-looking car. It actually, probably looks better stock 
maybe if we took that tire off and the exterior roll cage it might look a little bit nicer but I thought you know I'd try out all the customization see how crazy we can make it look and you know sometimes you get a, a good crazy and then you get a shit looking crazy and this is a shit looking crazy so you get these crazy customizations and uh, it does nothing for it let's put it that way so if you do want this vehicle <laughs> Um, try and keep it as close to stock as possible maybe just do a couple of bumper deletes and put the wide body arches on or something and you know keep it like that don't use the exterior cages and the, the spare tire and all that sort of stuff because I think it, may, it ruins it in my opinion uh, it ruins the actual look of the car because it wasn't, it wasn't a bad looking car as stock but I think the customizations that were done to it has made it look pretty poo to be honest <laughs> and uh, like I said it is slow it's sluggish I, I, I don't know how much this is going to be in online when it is released because like I said it isn't released currently in GTA I am using mods to get this into story mode um, so I can't find out exactly how much it's going to cost and even if I did listen to speculation or guesses it is what it is it is a guess there's no guarantee on exactly how much this is going to cost until Rockstar um, releases it themselves so um not sure how much it's going to cost. Hopefully, it's not going to be over a million. If it is over a million um, dollars, that is ridiculous. But I'm pretty sure it's not going to be that much. I mean, surely it can't be that much. I mean, the um, the Dinka Jester Classic is only going to be about eight hundred thousand, and uh, that's you know that's an anticipated vehicle, a very anticipated vehicle to come into GTA Online. So if any car out of the Sports Classic cars was going to be expensive, it would have been that one. So I'm going to hazard a guess at around about 400000 for this car. If it's any more than that, that is fucking just crazy. Um, because like I said, it is now ugly, it is slow, and uh, I wouldn't waste my money on it personally. Um, because we have cars very similar to this, in the especially the retinue, like I said at the beginning as well. And... Um, the retinue is is ten times better than this in performance and looks and customization, I believe. So yeah, that is my build and review on the brand new, currently unreleased Lampadati Michelli GT. And um, like I said, not impressed. Um, I put a big buy beware sticker on this, and uh, I'd, I'd stay away from it if I was you. Um, so yeah, that is going to be the end of the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please smash a motherfucking like, and if you haven't already, want to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more GTA 5 content. And until next time, guys, I'm out. Adios.